Hi everyone, it's day 28 of our LYPP challenges online and today is Sunday and today we normally do our thought for the week um, and today I wanted to think about the word hope um, and I don't know about you, we've just been told we've got another three weeks of lockdown to go and I don't know how that made you feel, some people um, are probably quite happy for another few weeks not at work and school and other people are maybe finding that thought really difficult and I know if you ask Russell or Catherine or Graham or me we would all actually all feel quite different um, just now because there is no right or wrong way to feel about um, what's going on in the world just now and everybody reacts differently and, and finds it hard but in the midst of all the chaos and all our feelings we can also still feel hopeful, hopeful for the end when we're all allowed back out, hopeful that one day we will get back to Max and get a lovely ice cream and we can all walk over along down at the palace, hopeful that we'll all um, have fun again back down at lounge and all these things are really good and they won't be long away all being well so hang on in there but the idea of hope um, you'll probably have heard of has, has been going around for quite a few weeks. A lot of people have been um, painting rainbows on their houses and I don't know if you guys have been doing that. Certainly a lot of younger families have been doing that. We've got a rainbow up um, in our house as well. I am today, if you can see this, I'm wearing my rainbow jumper. So it says no rain, no rainbow, which does actually remind us that rainbows come after the rain. And, and actually, so like that, well, after coronavirus is all done, it will all be fine again and things will go back to normal. But you do sometimes have to go through some tricky times first. So what I wanted you to think about, even if you're not feeling brilliant, um, is actually how you can be a messenger of hope to others. Um, in this time. And that is hard if you're not feeling particularly great yourself, but how can you kind of bless other people. So it might be that you could phone an older relative, someone that maybe doesn't even have the internet, who's actually quite lonely, you could phone them. Or you could um, write a card to someone or anything like that, just to remind them that you're thinking about them. And one thing that we thought was be a good idea, and we haven't done it yet, but we do, and um, we're about to do it this weekend, is we were gonna paint some rocks with some nice messages on them that we can leave around the woods near our house and actually someone else bet us to it so my oldest daughter um, and I were out a walk the other week and we find um, pictures um, people have painted with chalk on the street we found rocks with really positive messages on them and I'm going to put them up and um, you see the photos of them and all of that it was so lovely when you're out your walk you see something positive and it does really cheer you up so my challenge for you um, in the midst of the chaos is how can you show hope and be hope to others and um, when you're out and about so just remember one thing I was thinking about when I was um, reflecting on this was if you can remember back to lounge, um, we've got our big feature wall and it's got all the words on it. And in the middle of that, the three words there are, there is hope. And that is totally true. And it's as true when you're in lounge as when you're out lounge, that there is hope. There is more to life than the chaos that we're in now. And it's really important that you try and hang on to that, even if you're not feeling brilliant and if you're not feeling great about things please speak to us on Instagram and um, on Facebook we are more than happy to to sit and talk to you and it's okay but if you're if you're feeling great brilliant so enjoy but happy Sunday everybody and let's see how you can be a messenger of hope where you are